Another Facebook Live here at the PGA Championship. Now we've brought you inside the ropes with Justin Thomas. We've brought you inside the ropes on the driving range and putty green. Now we're bringing you inside the ropes at the merchandise tent with Michael Quirk. You're the senior director of merchandising for the PGA of America. And uh, I got to tell you, this is quite a scene. We walk in, we have the tunes pumping, and Roy McIlroy and Sergio Garcia are greeting you when you walk in. Take a look at this, guys. This is ridiculous. I've never seen. It's basically like if you're at Disney World almost, I would say. Yes, and they have the animations that are kind of interacting with you, right? So this is perfect timing. Look at these guys, <laughs> guys looking for a photo with Sergio Roy. It's the Omega Experience. What they do is they come by at different times, and they ask for a selfie right here. Right here, here we go. So here we go. Rory McIlroy right now is asking this whole family to have his picture taken with them. Nobody will ever know that that actually wasn't him. <laughs> so guys, just take this in. This is just a really cool first stop here at the merchandise tent at Quail Hollow. Well, and Rory McIlroy, he has to go. You know, he's a busy man, so that means we have to go too because we're busy too, right, Mike? That's right. All right, so let's keep walking as we come in. So after you get... That's a way to start, honestly. It's amazing, and it's hilarious because Rory and Sergio actually interact with each other from board to board, so the whole thing's pretty good. All right, now we walk in, and it's like... We're just psyched that we won a Ryder Cup, so why wouldn't we keep rubbing it in, right? 16, look right into 18. Um, not only, I mean, the whole 43,000 square foot tent is full of Quail Hollow PGA Championship product, but of course, this is also a note to the Ryder Cup, which the PGA of America runs, and the next one being at the Golf National in 2018. I, who's ready for France? I think I'm ready. Hazel team was great, but I think we're already ready to kind of move on and defend that Ryder Cup. So we continue on, and I think what's really cool is you automatically see Jason Day styles, Rory McIlroy styles. You can literally dress like your favorite player, right? And I'm so glad, number one, that you picked up on that from just looking at it. So that means the marketing's working. Yeah, I mean, one of the big things we do is the player scripting. So what the players are wearing uh, tomorrow, which is Thursday through Sunday, we've got Rory, Jason, Jordan Spieths, and Dustin Johnson's. Exactly what they're wearing all four days. And I saw there was a big polo thing there. I'm assuming Justin Thomas, the same thing? Correct. We do have some of his pieces. That's and pretty cool. As we walk here, if you look over to your right, too, custom sneakers with Nike with oh, the logo wow. on it, and same with Adidas, which is a new add-on. Now, is that for men and women? Just men. Just men. Okay, so guys, for those of you that are watching, come out here. You can go literally get the exact outfit that your favorite players are wearing, which is really fun. And we continue on. It's, it's pretty much... I mean, Cars here. Can we buy cars here? Uh, I don't know if they're actually for sale today, but they're at least on display. We are selling Omega watches in the uh, Omega shop, though. Okay, but the I... other thing to pay attention to as we walk through this men's area is just... Industry. And I do love how they make association with the players with the brand, because a lot of times I do see when you're watching the course, guys are like, oh, I really like that shirt. Where can I get it? They're literally just a few steps away. So we continue on here. Wow. For all you UNC and Duke fans. Yep. Clemson's back here, so before people start to freak out, it's here. <laughs> all right, so we got the college representation. That's obviously a huge part, though, of being here in North Carolina, Quail Hollow, right? It's You can't really ignore the other major sports teams that are here, and you guys did a great job of incorporating them. Yeah, especially whenever we come to a state where the colleges are a big part of it. I mean, you can't come to North Carolina without doing something around these schools. Right. And to see people come in and be able to get something from, of course, their alum mixed with the, something from the championship, it's a good marry. Uh, are you a UNC fan? I'm representing for the week for the state. All yeah. right, some Tar Heel representation for just for the week, I think though. the favorite part about these shirts, by the way, is that the ripping that people do on the other shirt, the school that's not theirs. <laughs> that is probably the most. What's more fun than trash talking uh, rival colleges? Okay. So now it looks like we're moving into the women's section, right? That's right. And again, one of the things we really focus on with our women's product, just like we do with our men's, is the off-course wear. Yeah. I mean, listen, if you're a golfer, we got it. Like, it's in here, I promise you. But it's also the off-course, the athleisure, the t-shirts. Um, I think you can see just by spinning around here all the different kinds of product offering we have for yeah. anybody that comes in here. I mean, literally every different kind of hat or visor you could possibly want. Uh, do we have, is this... Okay, you can tell where my head's at. I thought this was a cooler. I think it's just a PGA Championship gym bag, which you can also make into cooler just at ice. <laughs> All right, so here we go, moving forward. And again, it's not just your favorite male players. You have Michelle Wee over here and the types of things she loves to wear. So Nike representing their men and women as well. So we are not done yet. Oh, let's take a look. at. I always like these, right? Here's a commemorative poster. So we have two posters. We have one from Levi Bransky and the second being from Steve Lotus. These are our official posters, all for sale, moving quickly. So I suggest you get in here probably before Saturday if you're going to grab How do you decide which 
paintings, posters, artwork you're going to use to be the official ones of something as important as the PGA Championship? I think what we do is we always focus on the holes or shots that mean the most to the actual club. Second, we make sure that artists are kind of doing two separate shots. And then third, I let the artists do their thing. Yeah. I mean, they're very creative people. And I feel you never tell an artist, you, know, you, don't, you don't tell them how to paint. That's right. Just like people don't tell you how to build these tents, right? That's, this is your job. You got that. Thank you. <laughs> now, this is crazy land we're walking into right now. Right, so where, what part of, what do we call this? Headwear and t-shirts with kids over in the corner. Okay. But as you can imagine, we sell 15 hats a minute this week. I'm sorry. Let's just recap. 15, 15 hats a minute. A minute. If you stood here long enough and watched, you'll see why. But the hat walls, the way we just line them up, make them easy to shop. Um, we have roughly 400 different hats to choose from. So we got again, we got it for you. Literally, if you can't find a hat you like out of 400 different ones, that's not a you. That that is a you problem. That's not your problem. Okay. Oh yeah, what's this over here? Personalize your hat. So, last name, buddies call you a name, whatever you want to do, right on the back of the hat. Could so this be a cooler gift for like mom or dad or someone at home that maybe missed it and you are able to make it really personal for them? Exactly right, and that's great. I mean, even if you buy the same hat as someone else, the fact that you put that on the back, nobody else has that. That is really cool. I, I might be coming back later for one of those for uh, for my mom and dad. I mean, the DJ, I mean, literally makes the tent, keeps the music bouncing, keeps the keeps the energy up. We have a live DJ here, folks. Sure. Let's let's just walk over here. I want to see what a PGA Championship playlist looks like we got some desposito going on right now so i know my man knows what's going on we're, we're doing a little facebook live hey guys. is it intimidating to be the dj in a pga championship merchandise tent no it has not been it's been really great because when people are walking they hear the music yeah. and there's something like oh there's the dj and they come on over these guys have been saying wait do you have requests this is, his request, right? this is your request desposito do you have a request now I'm the one. More, more Justin Bieber. I mean, uh, it's all Justin Bieber all day. All right. So, what is? Is there one song someone could ask you to play that you would just refuse to play? Uh, oh, there's more than one. There's a bunch of songs that are weird. What if I requested the Macarena? Would you play that for me? I actually probably would play that. <laughs> all right. So, what does a playlist consist of, though, to get the people going in the merchandise tent? Well, you know, good music is good music. It stands the test of time. So you can't go wrong with Michael Jackson, Bruno Mars, right. Earth, Wind & Fire. Good music. You play it. People recognize it. They start dancing. I love everything about this. All right, we're going to let you do your work and handle the very uh, demanding guests that you have here. Uh, good luck with your Justin Bieber request. We're going to continue on. It's <laughs> how many people all week. Like are caught dancing, all ages. I mean, just look around and it's great. It's great. Before we started our Facebook Live, we were all dancing and in circles. So I absolutely get it. Okay, so again, more of these 400 hats as we're passing, and now where are we entering? So now this is accessories. This ah. is uh, not every accessory, but as you can imagine, every golf accessory you could really be looking for is here with an official logo on it. Okay. Uh, a lot of unique things. Flags, which of course, everybody needs a flag. This is great for the juniors to get autographed by their favorite players, hang it up in your basement, the, you know, the man cave, whatever you'd like. How many of these do you think you sell a week, in, in one week here? Uh, we'll sell 15,000 flags. 15,000 flags in nine days. That's crazy. All right, I, I like these kinds of numbers. Ooh. This looks like some unique things that you can only get here at Quail Hollow at the PGA Championship. Let's talk about it. So this is Signs by Sea, a uh, company out of New Jersey. Everything is handmade. Every single wow. Place. A lot of dropship programs, so anything you see in here can be ordered. Cool. Anything from custom dartboards to a cornhole game on the floor over here. I like a good game of cornhole. Who nice, doesn't, awesome, right? Some huge state cut out of North Carolina. This is, so people can actually get this, even if you are not able to make it out this week, people are able to get this kind of stuff online? Um, not this stuff specifically. Okay. But 3 to 5% of everything you see in here is available on shop.pga.com. Okay, so go check it out, guys. This is awesome, though. This is, I mean, these are great little knickknacks that you can take back. Absolutely. So that's the other thing. You know, we talked about the apparel side up there, making sure we have something for everyone. And in the accessory side, it's not just golf accessories. Right. You know, it's nice little knickknacks and pieces you can put in your house and yeah. something to remember the championship that, uh, that was hosted in North Carolina. Okay, cool. So let's continue on. Uh, I think the more unique things we can show, the better here. Let's go back to the personalization side of things. So this is engraving. So this allows you on money clips, bag tags, digital tools to put your name on the back or again, a perfect gift for somebody. Absolutely. So take a look here, guys. 
We can get right in here as we take a look at some of the bag tags. And uh, we got some bottle openers too, and the personalization's happening right there. John, while he's doing that, is the importance of our volunteers. Yeah. I mean, we have 700 volunteers just for the merchandise area. These people are the ones that help it really run. 700 volunteers just for this. Well, just for the most important part. Yeah, besides the most ball, important you know. part. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. This is my favorite thing. My, This is what I've been doing ever since I started in golf. I collect a coffee mug from every single major I've been at. So, I mean, I'd imagine this is a really popular item that people come to get, right? It is. We're so close to 10,000 coffee mugs this week. Four different kinds to pick from. Um, and, of course, it's not just the coffee mug side of it. We have different shot glasses, Turvis Tumbler. We even have Yetis. Um, a lot of drinkware. How have things really evolved, maybe over the last 10 years, or what people are looking for when they come into a merchandise tent at a major championship? Sure. I mean, I've been doing this for 15 years now, and I can't tell you how it just gets bigger every single year. Yeah. And I think even when you, if you haven't been to a major in a long time and you go now, even when you're outside of here, it's like a village out there. Yeah. It's amazing. For a total of seven days, we're open for nine. But this is a 43,000 square foot tent. It's a football field, yeah. literally end zone to end zone of just product. And we wouldn't build this unless we needed to. So that just shows you what kind of demand it is. Do you see certain trends during years of things that are really popular compared to, like this year, have you seen anything in particular trending more so than in years past? Yeah, I mean, anything you can pull through for the state of North Carolina, we try to incorporate that. Uh, the feather, which is, of course, part of our official logo, yeah. we try to do that in a cool little repeat way. That's been doing very well. We always try new products to see how it does and then, you know, run with it in years to come. I said Yeti before. Mm -hmm. You know, Yeti is going to be sold out probably tomorrow. Wow. Uh, again, a new product we're trying, but everything, this is a merchandiser's dream as of right now, is kind of selling equally, okay. which is great. That's a good thing. That is a very good thing. All right, so let's continue down. We have more coffee mugs over here. We even have wine glasses. I, I just love all these coffee mugs. I need to get one very, very quickly before those sell out. Good story. Okay, golf towels. So, golf towels. Devon, Monroe, North Carolina. Hometown's like 20 minutes away. So, we always try to also bring in product from the manufacturers within the area. So we think it's a good story. These will sell probably close to 20,000 this week okay. of golf towels. There's another fun number for everybody. Wow. I mean, that is a great thing, though. If you're a golfer and you want to let everyone know when you play with your buddies, the, the big tournaments you've been at, what better way than to just... This hangs yeah. from your golf bag for years to come, and it's always a great conversation piece when people see it. Very cool. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, this is unbelievable. We have been walking forever, it feels like, and we are still not done yet with all the merchandise. Ah, who doesn't love a good koozie? Oh, fantastic. So this is Vineyard Vines. We've done a great program with them. We have four different kinds, um, which is good because it's like a collectible. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, it's trying to get everybody to understand that everything in here is exclusive and limited edition because we close on Sunday. It's gone. You can't buy it anywhere else. I mean, right. online, of course, is 3 to 5%, but because there's so many people here this week, of course, you have this huge stand with a huge offering, but if you don't get it now, you won't get it. <laughs> if, if you're not sensing the sense of urgency, I think Mike's advice for you is if you're coming out here at the PJ Championship, get your butt to the merchandise tent as soon as possible. This is also a great autograph thing for a lot of kids. Uh, are these that we came up with like years ago. It's like an oversized range basket. I don't think there's a kid or adult that doesn't walk in here and at yeah. least, you know, bounce it once to make sure it to make sure it works. Yeah, just make sure it works. <laughs> but this is awesome. This is a great gift for any kid. I mean, it's $12, very affordable. Kids can get signatures on it. Yeah. They can take it home to play with. Um, but this is something that, uh, that you can't go wrong with. All right, so after you picked up all of your flags and oversized golf balls and coffee mugs and gym bags that can also double as coolers and all of these important things if you didn't hear that this is where you check out okay so this though i will say is kind of i would imagine the most difficult and also the most important part of the process because you don't want people turning around and saying i, I don't want to wait in these lines it looks like you guys are doing a phenomenal job of keeping the line moving absolutely you know we talked earlier when we first came in here about experience right so that's what it's all about and to us the number one goal for people here this week is to get out to that golf course yeah. so we want to get them through here as fast as they can i don't know if you saw anyone that was kind of watching while we were doing this there's a total of 15 75 inch tvs in the store so you never miss a shot. Thing. Let's not forget about the air conditioning, yep. right? And then the 42 registers to help get you out of here. 42 different registers. So how many people do you think come in and through this merchandise checkout line every single day? Well, I'd say this. We think about 95% of the people on the property at least come through here Whoa. once in the day. Uh, as you can see, this middle aisle here is for people not purchasing anything, which is very 
empty right now, which is a great sign. Um, and then we'll see, you know, today, maybe, I don't know, 13 to 14,000 transactions. Today alone, 13 to 14,000 transactions. Where would you rank, I think I already know what you're going to say, but where would you rank this particular merchandise tank compared to all of the ones that you've been a part of? Well, this is the largest PGA championship we've done. Um, I mean, it's in, in the way of a merchandise tent. Uh, the Mercedes up front, the Omega, that's all new with the tunnel we talked about. Um, this is the most elevated one we've ever done from an experience side, and it's on track to be hopefully one of the best ones from a sales side. Um, so it's been a great week, and honestly, if, if you haven't been in here, you got to get in here because it's an experience. At what point did you guys start working? How many man hours went into getting all of this ready before your doors opened to the public? It's a 10-month process from start to finish. Uh, the product side's a big one, as you can imagine. Yeah. With the volumes we were talking in there, it takes a long time to get that in motion. And then it's about a three and a half week process from wood floor to what you see it today. Okay, so you're telling me, come Sunday afternoon, when those doors close, you're gonna have about eight weeks off, maybe not even off, but you have eight weeks to not have to do much about it, and then you're gonna just start the whole process all over again. That's right. Unfortunately, during those eight weeks, for some reason, all these people wanna get paid for all the product that's back oh, there. So we have to deal with some bills, after the bills, and we start it up again. Pay the bills, start all over again. Mike, thank you so much for taking us on this amazing tour. Thank you all for watching right here live on Facebook. It is Wednesday. Tomorrow is the big day we tee off for the 99th PGA Championship, but we're still going to be taking you inside the ropes all week long. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you later.